Billionaire philanthropists trying to grow the game. That, they have done a tremendous job. But the more you make something sustainable in the long run and bring in sponsors, so these guys don't have to pay out of pocket. Jan Henrik Butner to organize the Weissenhaus event probably paid millions. I don't know. I haven't asked him how much money he spent. But, but we can't just rely on that. What they're doing is incredible. But we, we also need to find a way to build for the future. I would love to see a future where freestyle chess has multiple events on the calendar and we know in advance and we know who's playing. And if they want to do an invitational, fine. You organize the event, do the invitational. But in tennis, there's no invitational. There's a qualification system. Once you start doing invitationals in chess, you mess with the overall standings. Tennis doesn't have any invitationals that count for the world rankings. So that's kind of a conundrum. That's kind of a problem. If we just want to have more of these kind of small, private, really prestigious events, maybe that's just what we have to do. Maybe there is no way around that. At the end of the day, we also have a world championship title that is literally meaningless. I mean, it's not. It's not literally meaningless. There's a world champion, but everybody's going around going, well, that guy's the champion, and he's playing in all these other events. Do you see what my point is? This is the issue. We have no clarity. Is top-level classical chess a dying thing of the past? I don't know if it's dying. The Tata Steel chess tournament that just concluded was truly really great. However, if you tell me, hey, chess players and broadcasts can have a sponsor come in, partner with the event, put the event on television, I would say, yeah, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's speed it up a little bit. If the North Star of chess, if the top goal of chess is play the game as perfectly as possible, that does not mix with appeal to wider audience. That does not appeal with commercial viability. That does not appeal with behind the scenes footage, documentary style footage, your favorite players getting interviews and media slots. People don't want to watch something that takes seven hours. And